Continuing coverage now of questionable petitions in a tight congressional race off the ballot. That's a judge's ruling today in Richmond. Independent candidate Sean Brown cannot be on the November 6th ballot in the second congressional race. That stems from a lawsuit claiming members of incumbent Scott Taylor's campaign staff forged signatures on petitions to get Brown on the ballot. Many of your sides, Andy Fox, has been following this from the beginning and tells us what this decision means, Andy. Tom and Anita, Congressman Scott Taylor was in session, so he was not required to show up in court. Five people closely associated with him did show up, and they all took the fifth. Bet Cake wears her wedding ring around her neck. Her husband, Stuart's forged name, appeared on the petitions for Sean Brown two months after he had died. I know he would have been very upset because he, he would have not been happy at all for his name to be used without his permission. Judge Gregory Roop ruled independent candidate Sean Brown cannot appear on the ballot because there were so many forged signatures, it took her below the thousand signature requirement to appear on the ballot. Attorney Jeffrey Bright represented the state Democratic Party. Obviously, the court found that Ms. Brown's going to be removed from the ballot, that there was forgeries, there was fraud, and there, in our mind, a kind of a culture of corruption that it's got to stop, and the judge put a stop to it. The judge also weighed the six people who took the Fifth Amendment right not to testify, including Taylor staffer Heather Goulet, who affirmed she witnessed the signatures when they were signed on the petition, and in the end, many ended up being forged. Bright says she and others wouldn't be able to answer the questions. Primarily whether or not they committed forgeries, whether or not they knew that there were forgeries on the ballot, and whether or not Scott Taylor directed them to gather the signatures to put Brown on the ballot. The congressman's spokesperson texts us, given the Democratic lawsuit was political, it is understandable they didn't testify. I believe that the congressman said to his staff, let's help Sean Brown get on this ballot. And I believe that when the facts finally come out, that there was a meeting of their staff to help Ms. Brown get her signatures. As for Brown, she plans to appeal. We believe that we will be successful in the appeal. Uh, no, we had no part whatsoever in working with Congressman Taylor. Uh, and so I'm not even sure anymore if he was trying to help us or he was trying to hurt us. Now, Bet Cake, who you heard from earlier, you know, she's had a tough go of it. She lost her husband and now she's dealing with all of this. Says she talks to her husband a lot. Tonight on Wavy News 10 at 6, I asked her, what would your husband say to you after today's hearing? I'll have that part of the story at 6. In Richmond, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.